At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify text normalization, follow the rules of tokenization, and appreciate the significance of tokenization in natural language processing. Let me first say that text normalization is a very significant preparatory process in natural language processing. Maybe you would ask me, what is text normalization? What makes, what makes this one very important? So text normalization is a process of transforming a text into a standard format. So we have here standard format. Maybe at this point you would like to ask me, Joseph, what do we mean by standard format? Okay, so let's understand what standard format by having this example. So I'm so sure you've read these ones. So when someone sends you some messages, chat message or a text message, you would always have this one, especially for millennials, right? Then sometimes when someone is excited, for example, so he or she would send you this or even more than two so you have uh l o o o o o o o v e okay sometimes l o v v v v v v e e e like that right so uh, when we normalize these two words we have love here and then love so what do we do so we transform them into their standard form which is love the real spelling okay so this spelling is the standard spelling for this and then this so basically that's we do that's how we do normalization so before we continue don't forget to click the subscribe button and click that notification bell to receive updates of our courses about machine learning deep learning and natural language processing Okay, so let's continue. What is tokenization then? How do we do it or how do we define it? Tokenization is actually the task of segmenting, don't forget the word segmenting, a running text into words. So we tokenize a certain text into a variety of ways so we have certain rules to follow. Okay, because technically these rules would guide us how to tokenize certain texts. So if we fail to observe these rules, then our output would be wrong. So in the end, our processing or natural language processing project would be wrong. So we have to be very careful. Okay, so as a rule, we have the first one. Okay, as a rule, we break off punctuations as separate token. So our parameter for this is that in the case of commas, they are useful piece of information for parsers. And in the case of periods, they are considered separate tokens. So when they set sentences or sentence boundaries, again, period are important when they set sentence boundaries. Okay, of, of course, this rule is not absolute because there is always limitation or exception so what are these limitations so let's have these some examples so let's have okay phd p p h d then we have this word attorney a t t y short for attorney and then we have high a compound word high rise this is a hyphen okay so we have these three words PhD attorney and high rise so as you could see we have here period period we have a period we have here hyphen so these are punctuations but this actually is not a period this is actually as far as this particular example is concerned this is considered a point okay and this one is also a point not a period because a period is used for ending a sentence but in this case only for a word this is what we call a point okay 
So these are actually abbreviations, except this one. This is, again, that's what I've said, this is a compound word, okay? So the period, of, I mean the point and the hyphen are internally part of the word. So in this case, we have to keep them. Let me repeat that because that is, that is very, very important. The point here and the point here and the hyphen here are very important. Why? Because they are significantly internally part of the word. Okay? So without these marks, then the word would be wrong. Okay? Now, let's go to number two. Another thing is that in cases of prices and dates, so what do we do with the special characters and numbers? So for special characters and numbers, we have to keep them. Okay, so let's have a price. For example, you go to a certain mall and you would like to buy something. For example, a shirt. And a certain shirt costs $3.15. Okay. Of course, when we tokenize a word or a price, for example, we don't separate a 3 and then 15 because and also the dollar sign because they are considered one word okay and in the case of for example a date today is 0 8 11 2020 okay so this one is cons are considered special characters and so they are kept as one word and also the numbers okay the numbers plus this one are considered one word okay simple now let's go to our number three so when you see url a hashtag or an email address special characters and numbers are also kept again for the reason that same with number two, they are considered as one unit, okay? So, let's go to number four. What about the case of contractions? I believe you know what contractions is. So, for example, we have what are, okay? So, when we tokenize this contraction, it becomes what are. And in this case, we have two words, what and then the second one is R, okay? So also, um, depending on the application, in the case of multi-word expressions, we tokenize them as a single word. Say, for example, we have New York. This is way applicable or very much applicable when we talk about a compound word, which is a separate word. So our example here, here is New York. So we have the first word is new. The second word is York. But then it's because New York is considered one unit of a word. Then they are considered a single word. What is this for? Why do we have to study this? Tokenization is important for noisy texts like social media comments, comments to blog posts, and text messages where abbreviations and use of out of vocabulary words are prevalent. This also improves sentiment classification accuracy. After all being said and done, let's try this. What is tokenization? What are the rules of tokenization? Why is tokenization important in natural language processing? Please leave your answers in the comment be below so that we would be able to, dis to discuss and share our thoughts with each other and our interaction would be richer. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. Please click the bell button to be notified every time we have a new session. See you in the next lesson.